Hey campers, what's up? Welcome to another Total Drama episode. Now before we start, just to let you know, I'm actually in this episode, so be prepared. So it starts off with Duncan informing Zoe about Mike, I mean Maul being in Juvie. At first Zoe's like, what? That ain't true. But then she realizes he's actually serious. Meanwhile on Boning Island, Maul beats up Chef. Craziness. Oh, and if you didn't notice, Chef actually spoke for the first time this season. So today's game was Wheel of Misfortune with boxing, and Zoe doesn't have to fight, she automatically gets a point as a bonus. So let's go over the fights. Scott has to fight his worst fear in Fang the Shark, and he gets thrashed. Tira has to fight her worst fear in Cody Jr.'s mother, and she also gets thrashed and breaks up with Cameron for 10 seconds before coming back to him. Alejandro fights me in the ring, I mean Jose. It's not like I won a voice acting trip or something and kinda came up with a character and lines or anything. No, nothing like that. After I called Heather unattractive, Alejandro went on to just beat me up badly. So it's a one to one tie. Cameron finally realizes, hey, the wheel is rigged. So the next fight isn't rigged because Chris wants to make himself look like the good guy. And Mal fights Izzy and I'm like, I hope Izzy isn't actually in the season again because I'm kinda tired of her being multiple times. And Maul actually almost kills Izzy because Izzy looks through his eyes and sees Mike trapped inside Maul's butt. Cameron fights one, two, three, four. Four mutant gophers. Duncan fights a cute little bird that he saw the last episode and thankfully he doesn't attack it. I think Duncan's one of my favorite characters right now. Him and Zoe are just like up there. So Gwen fights Courtney and at first they're like, we're not going to fight, but Chris shows a video of the Gwen and Duncan cam kissing and then they go into a big battle, but at the end they become BFFs and Chris ends up tearing up. So he gives them both a point, meaning the villains win 3-2 to two, even though they really only won one match. The villains got to choose who to go home and they chose Sierra, thankfully, because I was worried they were going to get rid of Duncan or something like that in the middle of the storyline. The heroes get to choose who goes to Boney Island, and they all chose Alejandro immediately. And Chris says no merge is happening next week. Do you believe him? Alright, thanks for watching, and let's see what happens next week. Hopefully, Maul goes home, but it's quite entertaining. 